Hello and welcome. In this short video, we're going to show you how to get started with SPC Connect, the cloud platform for SPC intrusion systems. So in this video, we're going to walk you through how to register an account, how to set up a company. We'll show you how you can manage that company, add additional installers. And we'll take a very brief walk through some of the features and functionalities. And we'll show you how to add an SPC panel, how to enable certain functionality so that you can use that functionality. So let's get started. Firstly, we go to spcconnect.com and we have two options here. We can register as a system user or as an installer. The system user is really more for homeowners or people who have a mobile app. The installer section has been specifically designed for security companies so that they can manage and maintain security installations. So we'll go ahead and register as an installer now. The first stage of the registration process is you must enter the basic information to confirm and have a user account. So we'll go ahead and we'll enter this information and then we'll be asked to confirm this email. Once we've completed that, we can move on to the next stage. So we are now move on and we'll just check, make sure we've received the email. Sometimes uh, these original mails can enter your spam filter, so be sure to check that the email has been received. When you receive the mail, please click the link in order to confirm your account. This is a security procedure just to ensure that your email address is valid. Once you've verified it, we will log in. And now we have a choice. We can either join a company or create a company. We'll come back to joining a company in a moment after we've created one. But simply put, this is for additional employees of your company if they wish to join the company you're about to create. So to create a company, we click create a company. And in order to complete this, we would like you to complete a form which provides us some details about who you are and how we can best support you. Once you've completed that form, you will receive a mail back from us with a Cray Company activation code. You enter the code here, and then you will be able to continue in creating the company. The form is pretty straightforward. It's just a general overview of you. So let's go ahead and we'll open that form and complete that, and then we'll, <clears throat> then we'll create the company. So this is what the basic company looks like. It's pretty straightforward. You have an ID, which is your unique company ID. And then you're allowed to enter any company name and a password. So for this company name, we're just going to call it SPC Connect Demo. And for the password, we're going to use uh, the same, SPC Connect Demo 1. Now, I would recommend keeping this secure because if a rogue installer did want to access your system, uh, this would, once they know the ID and the password, allow them to access it. Now we'll see in a moment that you can actually set the profiles of the installer to allow them no permissions. And for country, we will put Ireland. We then finish the creation of the company. And now our company is set up. What we see immediately is this is just a very clean installation. There's nothing, no panel groups, no settings. It's very configurable to define exactly how you want this to work. So let's go through some of these menus and have a look and see what we can do. You'll see on the main screen there's an auto enroll option and also the default profile for installers. This is the default permissions you want installers to have. Now you can select deactivate it or you can choose to give them higher rights but standard installer is the default. These profiles, you can not alter the three defaults, but if you want, you can look at one, see what permissions are available, and then replicate it. This can then be your new profile, and you can configure the settings to best suit your needs. The way these are set up is in two separate groups. You have company operations, which is operations on SPC Connect, and then you have operations that affect the SPC panel. And the way this has been designed is to reflect the different roles within an organization. So you can give control to people who need it and remove control for people who do not need it. So I'll just save that just so we have a new profile. 
We can also see the system users. Now, we currently have no SPC panels registered, so we have no system users. But this would be any user registered to any panel registered in your company. And that brings us on quite nicely to system user notifications. This functionality allows you to create a notification to these system users, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Audit Trail tracks what's been going on in your company, so it tracks logins and actions performed in your company. So if you have different installers with different accounts, these will all be tracked here. We would always highly recommend that you give everyone logging on a unique username and password. Ask them to register as an installer and to join your company. Do not use the same password for all installers. So within SPC Connect, we can register SPC panels to our system. At this point, I am presuming you are familiar with SPC systems operations, but if you're not, let's just flick over and look at an SPC panel for a moment. If you select the, once you've logged on, you can see here we have a Flexi connection with SPC Connect. And this is one of the default options in the Startup Wizard. And once it's enabled, it will create a connection to SPC Connect. And what you can then do is register this panel to your company. Now we have another video on auto-enroll, which shows you how you can automatically enroll new panels into your company. So I'm just going to copy that, what we refer to as registration ID, and click register panel with company. This is a demo one, it's in Tipperary. And we must enter the engineer Now the panel has been successfully added to our account. And if we return to panels, we'll see the panel is now available and we can connect to it. But you'll notice there's no operations available. And this is something that people often don't do. And it's one of the most powerful features of SPC Connect is panel groups. And what a panel group is, it's an organization that allows you to group different panels to perform different operations and also to define who is allowed to access what panels. So let's go through that. If I add a panel group, we'll just leave it as panel group one. We can then define the features and operations, or we can add panels or installers into this group. Now we currently have no installers in this company, so I'm just going to add our one panel in, save. And then I'm going to see what we should do with this panel group. We go in and we look at the feature and settings. Now all of these features and functionalities are all available in SPC Connect. But as I said, if you do not enable a panel group, you can't make use of that functionality. So what I'm going to do for this demo is I'm going to turn everything on. You can look at this functionality yourself and see what best suits your needs. We'll start with SPC Config Manager. This can be used to back up and restore configuration files from site to the SPC Connect server. So you can schedule it to do it daily, weekly, monthly, or to do it every time a configuration file has changed. So I'm going to select daily and do it at 11 o'clock at night. We can also request reports from the system. So these are maintenance reports that take a snapshot of the system to ensure its system health. And we'll do that monthly. We'll set up a few retries and we can see there the date and the time of the next report. We'll also enable Flexi status, which is used to inspect the status of other communication paths. We can enable date time sync to ensure that the system remains on time. And we'll update that daily at 3 a.m. We can also enable firmware updates. And if we want, we can back up the configuration file prior to update. We can also enable live status and view live events. And if we wish, we can archive the audio video alarms onto the system. Now, there are separate videos and all these individual elements, but I will in a moment go through these to give you a understanding of how they work. Uh, the challenge messages as well, these allow you to enunciate messages via the audio devices connected to the SPC. The block user restrictions 
allows you to control what functionality you make available to a customer. So if you want, you if you want, you can shut down app access, verification, or push your email services. And finally, we have the email notification service. Now, this is really intended for installers who wish to be notified about faults or anything that may be going on on site that they may need to be aware of. You can add as many email addresses as you want here, separated by a semicolon. So once we've enabled all these features and we return to panel groups, we will now see the operations menu appears. If we select operations, we can now see all this new functionality that's just been enabled by setting up the panel groups and enabling it. So I'm just going to take a, a brief tour through these. We can look at the panel status and we can see this panel is still in engineer mode and engineer access is enabled. And this is quite useful if you want to ensure that nothing is accidentally left in engineer mode or if you just want to see if there's anything at fault. From here, of course, you can connect directly to the panel's web page. We can view the events coming from the system. We can look at the configuration files for all the panels in the panel group. We can manually request a backup of a configuration file. Now, this line item here is for an individual panel. And I can drill in and look at the history of configuration files for all the panels Now, Flexi status is used really to inspect the status of other ATSs. So if you want to ensure that the other communication paths are operating correctly, you can quickly inspect the status of a number of panel groups. Time sync generally doesn't need any interaction with it unless you want to perform a manual action. There we can see I just did it and the time sync was performed. We have no alarms on the system, so there is no archived audio video. If there was, you would be able to see any pre or post images, and the images will be auto deleted depending on your panel group configuration. There is another video on this, and I would invite you to check it out. From or update is a very useful piece of functionality that allows you to update all the SPC panels in a panel group. Remote maintenance. I'll just show you quickly what a remote maintenance port looks like. So we've just requested a report and it has been received. And immediately we get this overview saying there's one alert on the system, there's eight isolates. And I can have a look at the report. This is all the reports for this individual panel. And then I can drill in and I can see an overview of all the devices, all the zones, communications, and system logs for that SPC panel. But I suppose one of the most powerful points of SPC Connect is its ability to be able to configure anything at any time. So you've seen in a number of screens this Connect button. And if I hit that, we're actually now getting the status live from an individual panel. If I hit Connect to Panel's web page, we're now using the secure connection to create a direct connection to the SPC panel itself. And when we log in, we're now live on site. So any changes made here will it reflect immediately on site. So if any mistakes are made or any changes are required, you can perform any change from the SPC Connect Cloud. Also on the individual panel section, we can configure a number of additional options. We can look at alarm events, look at the live AV, but we can also configure users. Now, we do have a separate video on this, but in summary, what this allows you to do is to create a very fast way to set up panel users if you have a large number of users to set up. What you can do here is import the users from a file, so up to 2,500 users can be imported. Once they're imported, they'll be automatically downloaded onto the SPC panel. and This is very useful. But the real power of this in TimeSaver is that you can create an SPC Connect account for your users here. And when you click that button and you go through the process, you'll be asked for the customer's email address and some other identifiers. Once the user then receives a mail and confirms it, they have an account set up with this panel set up in it, 
and then they will receive a mail with instructions of how to download the mobile app, how to log in, and how to use the mobile app. So this is a real time saver for installers, and we, I recommend you um, check out that video. And of course you can change user profile settings here as well. So, I think this is our main overview of SPC Connect completed. I just want to show you, as I skipped over to start, this is the uh, panel users that we have at the moment. And I'm going to set up a user notification to all of these users. Now, what we're trying to do achieve here is that we appreciate that users tend not to read emails and staying connected with them is a challenge. So we're trying to allow communication through the SPC Connect mobile app. So by default, push notification is set up. You can, if you wish, send a email. You can select the message type. You pick the panel groups you wish to send it to, and then you enter your message, your title, an image, and your link back to your website. You can add multiple languages if you wish. And once this is sent out, it will appear on the user's app. It will appear in their email if you wish. And if the user clicks on the link, it will return back to the URL you entered. So again, we have a separate video on this as well. And it's a very useful piece of functionality. And I recommend you check that out as well, please. So I think that completes my brief overview of how to get started. I think my key points will always would be to ensure that you give each installer a unique username, that you create your panel groups and define the structure of how you want to organize your panel groups at the start. You can create a lot of work trying to reorganize panel groups and having a structure that is understood in your company will make the workflows much easier. If you have any further questions on SBC Connect, please contact us at Vanneville Industries. We'd be delighted to talk more about what SBC Connect can offer your business and how it can save you money. Thank you and goodbye.